Hi, I'm Pat Halpin. We're here in Albany with Meet the Leaders. Today is the opening day for the New York State Legislature, and I've been joined by uh, uh, New York State Senator Ken Laval from Suffolk County. Senator Laval, it's great to have you. It's always great, and it's part of the opening of session to have this interview, and uh, so it's good both of us are here. So let's uh, let's uh, let's talk about your perspective here. You are uh, one of the uh, longest serving members of the state senate you've yeah. you've seen change uh, whether it be governors or legislators or majorities and minorities there's been a big change in the state senate with the democrats being ma in the majority um, what do you make of that what what are your concerns how do you just give me your thoughts well um, there's a lot of uh, change this year but you know there's been change every session and the institution adopts to new personalities, new issues, uh, new governors. So um, I think you will see the legislature being um, uh, very adaptive to the new circumstances. So you've been uh, the chair for many years of higher education. Uh, there will be a Democrat chair in that, but you will be the ranking Republican. Uh, as, I, as I think about higher education, it's really not a partisan issue in the sense that uh, you know, one group supports the public education and, and higher education in particular you know, more or less. It's not like Washington where there are these ideological divides. How do you see um, that working in this session? Well, I think... Um the most important thing will be uh, how we deal with the governor, how aggressive the governor will be in trying to shape higher education policy. And um, there are days, I, I mean, I haven't spoken to the governor, but uh, I get the feeling that there are days where he wants to be combative other days he wants to get along and let's uh, you know deal with public policy in a open way and so uh, I don't know what to what to expect but I as I as I'm thinking and reacting to what you said I'm thinking that it seems that over the last 10 years maybe 15 or so going back to Pataki uh, with uh, with uh, with using the SUNY, the SUNY system as an economic incubator. Uh, that, that and, and you've been a big part of, yep. of, of shaping that. Right. And it started with the nanotech, it seems, affiliated with Albany, and now each one of the major university campuses kind of has their, their focus. Do you see that changing, or do you see that continuing no. to grow? No, I see that uh, continuing to grow, that uh, we use uh, higher education uh, and the business community joined together to produce uh, jobs, to produce new technologies, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, we're at, at Stony Brook, uh, and the same thing at UB at the other end of the, the uh, state, is that um, the community, the university, the university system is all about utilizing the dollars, the um, buildings that we have, the professors who have expertise in certain areas to grow uh, technology and jobs. In the end, it's all about uh, how we're using our dollars effectively, both at the university level, at the local level, to produce jobs. So let's let's shift gears a little bit and talk about the environment. Uh, a lot of people know you for having chaired the Higher ed Education Committee, but there's nobody that's been a stronger champion yes. for the environment, especially on Long Island, uh, than Senator Laval. Um, as you're thinking about the new challenges facing Long Island, 
particular contaminants that are showing up in water supplies, right. and, uh, chemicals and things like that. What are your thoughts? First, let me just do a little preface. And I've said this before when we've talked about the environment. Uh, my grandfather Laval was um, the instigator in getting me to focus on the environment. Leave this place better than when you f how you found it. And so that's always been my uh, focus. I represent the first senatorial district and uh, there is no Senate district more environmentally sensitive than the first district. And to your point, we're finding every day, we're finding contaminants, you know, PFOAs, PFOSs. Um, and this, the, this drives cost. Because we have to clean it up. Got to clean the water, and, make sure it's. And we also, hopefully, will have learned from what we what we found that we don't um, do it again. So we we've got a big big job in terms of the environment, but we've got a lot of um, people that uh, want to make sure our environment is protected and uh, even improved. Yeah, and there's nothing more important than clean air and clean water. That's right. And water in some respects is even more important than clean air because you can't go along without clean water. Uh, so that will obviously be a priority uh, for this year as well. And you passed very important legislation that allowed uh, the local governments, the towns out um, in Suffolk County to use part of their environmental funds to expand right. public water, safe, high quality public water to uh, communities that were relying on contaminated private wells. We've That's got to make it a priority because uh, people expect when they open the faucet, you know, that that water that they're putting into their bodies is uh, drinkable and that, uh, you know, everyone today is very, very sensitive about uh, cancer. And uh, when you talk about contaminants, people, that's where their mind set goes. Right. Senator, have a great year. You too. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And it's great to see you again. Look forward to talking to you more. Uh, that's going to do it for this edition of Meet the Leaders. I'm Pat Halpin. We'll see you again soon.